A right, couple different ways you can approach 28. If you recognize that this is the form a squared minus b squared, where a is a value of 5 and b is a binomial x plus 2, if you recognize that that factors into the sum and difference of those bases, what you could do is you can just substitute the 5 in for the a and the whole binomial x plus 2 in for each of the b's. And if you do that, you can simplify what you have. You get x plus 5 and, and 2 equals 7. And here, if we distribute the, t the negative, we get 5 minus x minus 2. This gives you 3 minus x, which you can now remove a common factor of a negative. Out front, the x plus 7 stays, and then you change the sign and order of these terms. So you factor out a negative from this 3, becomes a negative 3. Factor out a negative from the negative x becomes a positive x. And so you wind up with this form. Now, if you chose not to use that form, what you would need to do is you would need to expand this out. So you'd square the binomial, x squared plus 4x plus 4, distribute your negative. Combine your like terms here. So again, we, what we would do is we take 25 minus 24 gives us plus 21. You would then at that point remove a, a factor of, of a negative 1. And then you'd factor the remaining, the resulting expression. What two factors of negative 21 have a sum of plus 4, a plus 7, and a minus 3. So that would be kind of the two different ways. Now let me also show you on your calculator that you can factor as well. Uh, if you go back to your calculator and you look under this same F2 algebra tab, notice the second choice is factor. Okay, so if you take and write your expression again exactly as it appears, so 25 minus parentheses x plus 2, quantity squared. You don't have to do anything else, just close it off with a parentheses. And when you do, it'll show you all your factors, which is, confirms what we did by hand.